Oh, hello, Obi. Good morning. Okay, hello, this is the start to the half marathon vlog. Holly and I are about to uh, go on a road trip. We're going to Austin and Obi is running around crazy. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, first stop has to be Chick-fil-A. We realized that we left at like 10 and Chick-fil-A closes at like 10.30. So we- We have eight minutes. We have eight minutes <laughs> and we're sitting in line and we're hoping that they're not like, Oh, well, technically, you, we took your order at 10.30, so you can't have my breakfast. I just want the minis. Me That's too. all I want. And I, I want just... a large Diet Coke, please. <laughs> we should get you know, large water. I need Diet Coke. You brought <laughs> Diet Coke with you. He has a very, very bad addiction. It's fine. Oh, the mine is moving. chick fil is acquired. Look at all the sauces. Wow. I really asked for honey, and they were like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, my gosh. Freaking, oh my gosh, the smell. It smells so good. Oh, and then they have the ha little hash browns. They're so cute. Ashley goes for the food first and I go for my diet coat. We have two different addictions, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yours looks way better. Look, mine was all like, mine was everywhere. And yours just looks so perfectly placed and mine's just mm. all over the place like they shook the box. You just put it on. Oh, on the on there and then you put the little nugget back in. Oh geez. Mm. Okay. Mm. I'm telling you, the extra honey does it. Oh so good. I'm gonna have to start doing this now. We're gonna have to drive like four hours all the way to Austin. I thought it was like three and a half, but I think it's it was of last night, yeah. I will make up time <laughs> semi legally. I believe that. I just can't afford to get pulled over. I'll just be like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Maybe I can cry. Yeah. Have you ever got out of a ticket from like crying? No. No? I was bawling my eyes out and he still gave me a ticket. Wow. I was so like scared. Like I didn't want to pulled over is scary. I did not want to pay a ticket. And like I was genuinely upset and he just didn't care. I remember I got pulled over with Amy and Danny in the car. My, I got something all of a sudden in my contact. There's why I hate wearing contacts because of like stories like this. Yeah. I got it in my contact. My eye was like burning and there was no place to like pull into um, until like a little bit farther down. Uh -huh. So I was like trying to drive but also like trying to make sure that like I could see. So mm -hmm. I was trying to take out my contact in the middle of me driving. And it was like a 50, I think, but I was, but I ended up going 60 because I just like wasn't paying attention because I like put my foot like more on the pedal. Mm -hmm. I got pulled over right as I was about to turn in. I have my contact on my oh finger, my on my finger. And he comes over and he's like, uh, hi, uh, you were going uh, 10 miles per hour over. And I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. My, and I literally show him, I'm like, my contact was like, it was really messing with me and it, I had to take it out of my eye because like my eye was burning, I couldn't see, mm -hmm. like I was trying to pull over, but you know that there's no places to pull over here until yeah. literally right now I was pulling over, but he still gave me a ticket when I w literally had, my eyes were all red, I had my contact in my eye. Let us know your craziest story of getting pulled over by the cops. Mm -hmm. The first time I ever got pulled over, I called my dad and made him talk to the police <laughs> officer on the phone. I, because my dad had told me, like, you know, if you get pulled over, like, feel free to, like, call me. Like, I can help you. But he wasn't meaning literally right whenever mm -hmm. I get pulled over to call my dad and make him Mint talk afterwards. to the cop. Yeah, it was like, a, I'll be here for you. Call me. Well, we got to get on the road. We need to first go pick up our packet whenever we get there. That'll have, like... Our bib number, um, I think it has like a t-shirt, hats, and just other things, little like packets or whatever. We have to pick that up today. And then we are gonna stop at the hotel check-in. We have a really nice hotel. We got like 40% off or something mm -hmm. because nice. of signing up through the half. So we're gonna go there. We'll show you guys the room and everything. Um, we're probably gonna go out to, out to dinner, do our best to get to sleep as soon as possible. Oh. The race starts at 7 a.m. I don't normally wake up until like maybe 11 mm -hmm. on like normal days, but that means we're gonna have to wake up at six, get ready, get dressed, make sure we can like eat a little bit mm -hmm. before. Okay, we'll see y'all soon.
Dude, I don't even, I don't even know what, you, what just happened. That was terrible. Technically, we got to Austin like freaking 45 minutes ago. And it said, oh yeah, you'll be there in 15 minutes. We have to go to this event center to like pick up the packets and everything. And the traffic here is absolutely bonkers. It is crazy. The drivers are terrible. Mm -hmm. Cutting everyone off, not using blinkers. Like I feel like I almost witnessed like three crashes. Yeah. And also people like, so we're all patiently waiting to turn left. And there's people who will like cut all the way, all the way from the back. And then just cut in. And people will let them in. I'm like, no, don't do don't that. Let don't, them in. don't let them in. Don't don't do that. So now we're finally through it. Took like 45 minutes just to like get through these lines. And then now we're like waiting to park at the parking garage. It was terrible and now I'm really hungry. I'm hangry. I'm hangry. I'm point. very hangry because I'm angry at so many of these drivers. Okay, well we have made it officially to the hotel. This hotel is so nice. We got the bathroom. Oh my gosh, the sh Holly, come look at the shower. You haven't even looked at you haven't even looked at the bathroom. Oh this is nice. Oh look how cute the little bathroom is. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. We already met our um, neighbor. <laughs> His name is Michael. That's all that we know. But he was really nice and he said he's here for racing some sort of race <laughs> I don't know and we are sh <laughs> we're sharing a king bed look at our view it's very very nice you get to see the whole city and as as there's a siren going right now but we were saying we feel like we're in GTA and we want to play GTA but we can't I think the plan is to attempt to go to sleep as soon as possible. Uh, we just need to like set out everything for tomorrow. I think we're gonna go ahead and like, we're planning on braiding our hair for tomorrow so it stays. It's just the easiest way to like run. It's just having braided hair. I watch some Vampire Diaries, try to go to sleep, and then we're gonna wake up at 6 a.m. Um, I don't really know what all I'm gonna be filming. I'm mostly gonna be focused on getting prepared and like running and stuff, but we have little packets. I can show you guys what's in there if you wanna yeah. show. Well, we have our little bibs. Uh, they they did not Holly Holly how did this get in here? I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, this that's the scarf. Very nice, very nice. Hold on, hold this. Okay. <laughs> Wait, there's oh, more. There's more. I just oh, there's two in there. It's fine. Ooh, I actually like that shirt. I like this shirt. It's Under Armour. Ooh, yeah, it looks really like thin, really cute. nice, super cute. Oh, I think this is, this is a beanie. Like well. Oh, is it a beanie? Yep. I thought it was like a... Oh, it is a beanie. That's weird. <laughs> That's I like... think they like want you to run in it and then take it off. Yeah, probably. Perfect. Yeah. Got some snacks. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, they have, they have the chews. Energy chews. Nice. What is that? What's this CBD one? CBD soft gels. CBD soft gels. And hand sanitizer. Ooh, very nice. Hand sanitizer wipes. Hand wipes. Oh. It, oh, I, I thought it, I read it as you look when you sweat. And I'm like, I look what? <laughs> but it's a fire emoji. Nice. Yeah, that was our little our little swag bag. Yeah, we're probably just gonna hang out for the rest of the night. But we will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm having for breakfast. Okay, so we have these like little waffles. I'm gonna have one of these. And I also have a packet of honey, I think, that I'm gonna eat with them. I actually already started eating it. Oh. <laughs> but this is the other one that I'm gonna take with me. And then these um, little chews. Probably start eating on like the way over and then just throw them away. I actually feel pretty rested. Do you feel rested? No. Really? I'm tired. No. We woke up at, it's, uh, it's 6 a.m. So we already woke up and we're just kind of like trying to slowly get our way moving. We're gonna start like some stretches and stuff and then taping things. Like we both need to tape our knees. I need to do my heels because I got like new shoes and I got new soccer cleats. So it's kind of been an issue. But yeah, we'll get ready. <laughs> Not 
Turn off the alarm. I'm gonna pack my my little uh, my little fanny pack. I'm gonna have chews in there, Aquaphor, probably some, probably one of the waffles, one of the hotel cards, and then my phone is either gonna go here or like in the side of my pants. So all right, we are in the elevator to go down. Um, we have taped everything possible, and I have lots of tape under there. My heel is hurting. I don't know why it was hurting yesterday, but we're going to start like. First water, it's nice electrolytes, 3.53. And now we're turning back towards the city. How are you feeling? Good. <laughs> okay, we're halfway. Okay, we're finally stopping at almost eight miles. Yeah, baby. 7.72, and now we're having waffles, shoes, and more water, I think, up there, and then we're gonna keep going. Woo! My knees hurt, your ankle hurts, uh -huh. but we're doing great. Feeling good, other than that. <laughs> Hey guys, Ashley doesn't know that I'm recording this right now, but she's a freaking beast. We were like on the last half mile and she just like took off, full out sprinting. And I was like trying to catch up to her, but her stride was just insane. And she finished so, so strong. And I'm so happy that I got to come out here and meet her and do this together. And it was awesome. Okay, well, we showered and we're done and we're tired. We're super proud of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Thank you for flying all the way from Georgia to awesome. go and do this with me and we accomplished it together. Yeah. Maybe we'll do another one. We noticed though when we were running in, there's like you go left if you're in the full marathon Ooh. and then right if you're in the half. And like at that point, I mean, I was like super motivated to finish, but I was like, I don't know how these people do full marathons because at this point, oh like that God. would really make me upset. Yeah. But also people who like run marathons do half marathons as like their warm up, or like, or like for their training. The longest that we got to was nine miles mm -hmm. in our training. And we actually, so we got to like mile eight ish, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe a little less than eight. And we didn't stop. We didn't stop at all. Um, until mile eight and honestly the only times that we walked were like when my knee was hurting mm -hmm. and it was for like 10 15 seconds yeah. to get water and we stopped so we didn't spill it on ourselves yeah and then anytime there was like an uphill there was probably like four bad yeah. uphills they were really steep yeah like this steep <laughs> yeah it was just like it was something where I just I couldn't I couldn't do it but I'm I'm super proud of us mm -hmm. um, but we <laughs> saw my brother afterwards my brother ran his half with like an 808 pace. Is that mm -hmm. what he said? 808? Yeah. 808 per mile. And ours was 1133 yeah. or 1130. He said he finished in an hour and 40. And we finished in like two, two hours and, and a half, 30. Two and a half. Yeah. Yeah. So he's a beast. I think he's going to do a full. He definitely yeah, should he because can do it. he, yeah, no, he's a rock star. But yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. We are going to go and eat. Eat our body weight oh my in God, I'm barbecue. So <laughs> I'm so excited. Because we deserve it. But thank you for hanging out with us. I'm sorry if any of the footage was a little shaky. <laughs> I hope this is entertaining. Bye. <laughs>